So you've also become the photographer to pivot a little bit for a few of the emirs of different states. Yes, there yes, was Kano City. Um, I I could get the pronunciation wrong again, but Dutsa. Yeah, Dutsa. Yes, Dutsa. And uh, kind of ha- who? What do emirs do today? What is their position, and what was it like being a photographer for them? Uh, like I would say, there is there is a, a a slight shift, or actually a major shift. In the past, the the emirs were a little bit more traditional, and uh, not as intellectually uh, capacitated as the present ones. Most of the emirs in the north 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 of Nigeria are, are highly educated now. Like the late emir of Dutse, by the way, he passed away last month. He he's a professor. So uh, most of them these days really understand the landscape in in terms of uh, Western education and how to bring about change to the the Emirates that they rule over. Uh, recently, I was in the kingdom of uh, Zaria, Zaza, which is also a significant kingdom in northern Nigeria with a lot of history. I believe if uh, you Google it, you'll get the story of Queen Amina of Zaza. So the Amir as well was a former ambassador to about three or three countries. So they, they I would say they, they, there is a change coming. There is a shift in how these Emirates rule and how their subjects uh, do things compared to the older Emirates of the past, whom are so traditionalist and don't want to change the culture. But now it's it's shifting a little bit, I guess. 